After the events that unfolded in this past year, anguish flooded in our streets. We, the people, fought to stay afloat, made lifeboats out of our laments, grasped onto every song like it was our last, birthed beauty from the ashes. When DACA and TPS were revoked, we bejeweled the city in monarch butterflies. Patrick Martinez lit up neon signs that said, America is para los dreamers. When women splattered timelines with protests, Camila Rosa put, resistance is female, on bus stop signs. When the Muslim ban was barging in through Congress's back door, we took to the streets with signs depicting the Statue of Liberty saying, no ban, no wall, sanctuary for all. I dream of a world with my paintbrush where we can transcend our differences and unify for a similar cause. So I pick up my palette, adorn the city with spray-painted love letters, sprout sculptures out of sidewalk cracks, grow my pains into progress. Artists are America's ghostwriters. We revise our history to reflect our solidarity. We are radical dreamers. Silence no longer runs in our bloodstream. We are using our imagination to heal, plastering Shepherd Fairy's posters onto picket lines, embodying Barbara Kruger, Kruger's collages. Our bodies are battlegrounds. Art is a universal language. A picture is worth a thousand words, and we are starting conversations. Shedding light on what needs to be exposed, we are bending boundaries, refusing to be pigeonholed into how we should exist. Cesar A. Cruz says, art should comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. We exist because we resist. It's our time, there is no room for fear. This is our year to sit up, stand up, rise up, show solidarity as a nation. We will canvas all every street corner, paint protest amongst the streets. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? I raise up my paintbrush and dare to dream.